The integration of Amazon within ShopperPress allows you to import Amazon products directly by the admin area of WordPress. You do this by initially logging into the admin area of WordPress. On the left hand side, under the ShopperPress menu, click on 8 Import Data. Here you will find all the necessary tools to import Amazon products into your website. However, before you begin importing products into your website, it's a good idea to set up your affiliate IDs. The affiliate IDs ensure you get commission based on any sales made. To do this, you simply click on the Affiliate IDs option, select Amazon from the drop down list, and where it says Affiliate ID, enter your Amazon Affiliate ID, which you get from the main Amazon developers website, which is at Amazon.com. Scroll down to the bottom, click on Advertise with us, click on the Web Services option and click on the Create New Web Services account. Once you have created your account, you will be given an affiliate ID that you simply enter into the admin area of ShopperPress. The tracking ID is not required for Amazon. The tracking ID is only for use with third party tracking tools. So you only need to enter your Amazon Affiliate ID in this box. Now that you've entered your Amazon Affiliate ID, you can now begin setting up your categories and importing products. Generally what I do to begin my affiliate website is remove all of the existing categories and products to ensure that all of the products I add later on are unique to my affiliate website. I then begin by deciding what sort of affiliate website I'm going to create. So for this example I'm going to create a computer store and in my store I'm going to have a number of computer components, laptops etc. What I usually do is go to the Amazon website and view all of the options available for the computer section. So if I go to the home page I can see there is a category called computer and office and usually I'll look for some of the subcategories that relate to my computer store. So for example, computers and netbooks, desktops and servers, etc. So for this example, I'll take the first three. I usually copy and paste the categories to create the new categories in my store using the bulk category setup tool. I then separate each with a comma to ensure each one is set up correctly and just create the categories. Clicking on the categories, I can see now that I've created the su categories successfully. What I do then is go back to my import data options. I can then once again verify that the categories have been created and start creating keyword searches for each of my imported categories. So for example, computer and components, I'm going to start importing products into this category. Now what I recommend is with Amazon, if you click on the um, computer and office, computer and components, Amazon give you an overview of the best selling items. Now it's a good idea to import best selling items because it kind of verifies that a lot of people are interested in this particular item and also that people will be searching for these in Google etc etc which then gives more popularity and ranking to your specific website because there are more people searching for that specific product. So usually on the right hand side, under best sellers, I will look for the best selling items and generally speaking import those initially into my website. So in this case we have motherboards. So I will copy motherboards, go to my affiliate website and under search keyword I will enter motherboards. Now, under the search category, I will select the category that's most relevant to my search keyword, in this case, like electronics. If you use the all category option, Amazon limits the results to five pages. Therefore, you can't always import a lot of products using the all categories option. So it's a good idea to specify the subcategory, which in this case is electronics. I then decide which Amazon store I'm going to import from you should always import from the same store otherwise the, the import values will always be different for example if I import from United States my prices are in US dollar 
I then go and import into UK and my prices are in pounds sterling. So the prices displayed on the website will be incorrect. You must import from the same store every time. You can then set up some of the conditions that you may want for your Pacific search query. In this case we have price, max price, condition, brands, etc. Since this is a generic affiliate store, I'm going to leave all of these options blank. I'm then going to do my start search to import motherboards from the electronics category into my computer components category of my website. ShopperPress will then connect to Amazon using the Amazon API and bring back a list of products relating to the keywords we've used. So we now have a list of products relating to motherboards. We can now select which products we want to import into our website by simply clicking the Add Product button. We can scroll down the page and using the next and previous options we can scroll through different pages. In this case we have 408 pages. Now the Amazon API only allows 10 results per search. That is why we only have 10 results per page. Obviously if the Amazon API allowed more results per page or allowed you to import all of the products at once we would, uh, we would have that option built in. But in this case it's not possible with the Amazon API. So using the API we can simply allow 10 products per page and using the next and previous buttons continue our searches this way. Once you've added the products you want for the Pacific category, we can then click on posts just to verify that the products have been added successfully. If we then go ahead and edit one of the posts, we can just confirm that the data has been added correctly. In some cases, Amazon adds rather large titles, so we may wish to go ahead and edit and customize the title slightly for our website. It is a good idea, in my opinion, to create your own description and titles for each of the products. If you import products directly from the Amazon website, like thousands of other users will be, then all of the products will be the same, the content and description will be displayed the same. Therefore I often recommend that you import a small number of products per day and just manually update and edit the content to make sure they are unique. So in this case we can just make the box bigger scroll down and edit and customize some of the content for each of the products. The ShopperPress API imports the cheapest price possible for your item to ensure that your product displayed on your website is the cheapest one displayed having still a valid product price. So if we take a quick